Rolling. Whoa. Is it right little, in your ear? Little thing, yeah. <laughs> I can't hear for the whole show. Thanks, man. Great. You don't need to. You just monitors. All yeah. you got to do is nah. watch the point up down. Yeah, I can't hear anything anyways. <laughs>We are here with Brady Miller, correct? Yes, sir. That's me, Got Brady it. Miller. Brady Miller runs monitors for? Lamb of God. Awesome. How'd you get with Lamb of God? Um, I was actually out on the tour as a tech, monitor tech for Megadeth. The engineer for Megadeth got sick. Okay. I took over as the monitor engineer. Okay. So I worked with uh, Dave Mustaine for like 10 shows. Okay. And a couple months later, Lamb of God hit me up and said, we need a monitor guy. And I've been with them ever since, so. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. So how'd you get into running monitors? Did you start off doing monitors? Did you just um, come out of the room and spit out and here you are? So when I first, my first tour I did front of house for a band, uh, I, got, I got fired. Okay. Because I sucked. Okay. You know? Did you suck? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I was super green. But uh, to be fair, we were in a different, like, different venue every day with a different console. So like one day I'd be console du jour, PA du jour, exactly. Or, yeah, and it's just yeah. like figure it out. We have an hour until doors. Yeah. Trial by fire though. Exactly. Hour to doors, figure it out. Hour to doors, figure <laughs> it out. So needless to say, I got fired. Oh, I um, think people would quit after that and just get yeah, up their hat and yeah. not do it. Well, no, that was my first tour. I was I was pretty excited to do it. Sure. You know, so I was willing to. What inspired you, know, you into running out. sound to begin with? Um, so like when I was in high school, I I was. I wanted to be a rapper like a lot of people do. So okay. I started making beats. Okay. And then I got into mixing sound. Okay. Like recording my friends and stuff. Sure. Um, and I just gravitated towards sound. It just, it was something I fell in love with, okay. you know? So I just stuck with it and uh, here I am. Okay. <laughs> this video is brought to you by Guitar Center Professional. I know you've heard of Guitar Center. GC Pro is nationwide with professional pricing. Links in bio. Seriously, his cell phone is literally in there. His name's Greg. Hit him up. <laughs> Lamb of God. You yes. enjoying it so far? Yeah, it's great. Yeah? I couldn't have asked for like a better gig, man. Yeah. You know? Great band, really. Yeah. Killer musicians. Yeah, for sure. Really. Yeah, the energy on stage is like un unmatchable. Yeah. You know? So. so talk to me about your uh, setup. Are you doing uh, ears? Are you doing wedges? What are you doing? Let's see. So I got, uh, I got 12 wedges on stage, side fill, eight stereo IMs. Oh, wow. What? Yeah. yeah. So it's very loud on stage. Yeah. Uh, most of the IMs are, are for the techs. We okay. have two oh, guys. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Two guys on stage with the ears, the drummer and the bass player. And then all the techs are on ears. Okay. Um, so enough mixes for a, a pyro guy, my mix, uh, drum tech, stage left tech, stage right tech. Oh, wow. Um, but the wedges are really like where the whole you know, sound is driven from. Okay. You know. Talk to me about that balance from doing uh, ears to wedges and, uh, cause some people are diehard one or the other and there are some that kind of split the difference for that. How do you find that, that balance? Other than just listening um, to the musician and just give them what they want. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really honestly not up to me. I wish it was. If I could have it my way, everyone would be on in ears. Sure. You know, but you know, I'm working with, with guys have, who've been do, doing this for 20 plus years. Sure. And they've been on wedges for that long. Yeah. So they're not really willing to change, you know. Yeah. Randy, the, the lead vocalist, he, I mean, we've tried with the ears. He, he doesn't like them, okay. you know. Um, with that being said, I have to adapt and, like, give him enough volume on stage so it's not, you know, feeding back and shit and still, like, kind of, like, you know, look at everyone else with the with the IEM mixes, seeing what they want. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I said, I, if I could have it my way, it'd be all IEMs. Yeah. You know? Walk me through your setup. Uh, I see you're on an S6L. Uh, yep. Why the S6L? What was your... Uh... Um, why? Yeah. Well, so this was the console that was chosen for me. Okay. Uh, and I just kind of went with it. I actually started, you know, I, I have experience on profiles and SC48s and stuff. So it was an easy transition to go to the S6L. Um, I did have a, an experience with an S6L where I had a, a file on a profile and it was a front of house mix. I was touring with a different band and we had an S6L at front of house for a festival and I put the file in and it sounded like a completely different show in a good way. 
So ever since that point, I was like, dude, SXL is, you know, it's not bad. Awesome. So you're yeah. going to uh, ride or die Avid? Yeah, I don't mind it, man. Yeah. People hate on it, but fuck them. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it works, man. It does its job. Awesome. You know, so. What are you using for, uh, for in-ears? In terms uh, of like transmitters, receivers? Uh, PSM 1000s. My man. Um, yeah, man. Sure, all the way. I love it. You know? Why, uh, why the thousands? Uh, that's, that seems to be the, the most reliable ones out there, cool. you know? So. Cool. What about for your, uh, the actual molds? I use JH. Okay. Um, Band as well? The drummer is on clear tune okay. monitors. Okay. So it's got a pair right here. Okay. Brand new, fresh. Okay. You know? Um, but yeah, I've been with I've been doing JH for a little bit. I have 16s and Roxanne's. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Well, um, there's a lot of people who watch this who are brand new and they want to be where you're at. Uh, what advice would you give to them, or maybe even you starting off um, to get to where you're at right now? Um, just learn as much as you can. Work to learn. Don't work to earn a paycheck. You know, every gig that I did. <clears throat> In the beginning was like I just wanted an opportunity to like learn more about um, whatever monitors or sure. front of house whatever whatever you're gravitated towards like just stick with somebody who's in that position and ask them like yo how do I do this how do I do this yeah. and um, you know the the value in the knowledge that you get from that is like way more than any amount of money yeah. for me at least. What engineers do you look up to? Oh man, my buddy Lewis Louder. Okay, he's. Uh, Monitor engineer for the weekend. Okay. Kind of like I met him doing a tech gig, and I was like, dude, this is this guy's where I want to be. Awesome. You know, uh, Francois Pierre. Okay. I teched for him. He does the 1975. Yeah. And um, Queens of the Stone Age. So I was on a tour as a monitor tech for them, and I got to like listen to his mixes every day, and really learn what an IEM mix should sound like. You know, because prior to that, it's like I don't, I don't know, yeah. you know what it should sound like, like. Kick, snare, uh, I don't know. But you know, when you listen to somebody who, who's been mixing for a long time and how polished and clean everything is, it's yeah. like, wow, like, I gotta learn how to do it like that, so. Do you have a monitor tech out for this one? Nope. Okay. It's me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Could you explain to um, them what is a monitor tech? Oh, so a monitor tech pretty much um, deals with the equipment. Um, responsible for setting up, breaking down, um, kind of catering to the engineer in a way. So when I go out on a, on a tech gig, my role, my objective is to make sure the engineer is as comfortable as possible. Sure. Like he's got everything he needs. I like to run power as soon as I get in so that he's not waiting on power. He's not asking me like, yo, where's this? Um, so that's, I mean, that's my opinion of, of what a monitor tech should be doing is um, everything except mixing. What do you think is the biggest mistake that uh, modern engineers make, specifically new engineers? Uh, mixing for themselves and not for the artists. Mm, that's good. Yeah. How do you find, so how do you, other, how did you find what the band wanted? Because I know sometimes it's hard because they, they can't exactly tell you what yeah. they want. Oh man. Um, have you had bands like that, like, oh, I've needed to feel more dark or more happy or more orange or... <laughs> more orange. Get a little spray tan yeah, going. Yeah, yeah. Have you had that? Uh, oh, yeah. I feel like... Because uh, it's going to be hard to be able to differentiate that for people when it's like... I, with monitors, you really just... You're giving them what they want. Right. But if yeah, they can't yeah. really... There's a part of that to where, like, I can't fix what I don't know, so tell yeah. me for it. Yeah. Um, so how do you avoid making that mistake that you talked about, but also figuring out what did they want? Yeah. So I, I feel like, uh, especially with monitors, it's, it's a lot about um, how to talk to people and almost like reverse psychology. Sure. And, you know, I don't want to assume anything, but I already know if I'm up there and I'm playing bass, I need to hear hi-hat, kick, snare, my bass. Yeah. So I'm kind of like already, I'm, I'm kind of already got an idea of what they need to hear before sure. they ask me. Sure. And so I'm listening to everyone's mix to see like, what is it that, that um, isn't there that, that if I was up there, I'd want more of, Yeah. you know? Um, and obviously, like, you know, it, it's kind of like being a waiter. You, That's nobody, good. A, nobody asks for water right out. Yeah. But you bring the water anyways, because you know the, they're going to want it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So with that mindset, that's like, that's just kind of how I operate, you know? I like that analogy. That's really good. <laughs> yeah, thanks. So how much of this is uh, 
being good at your craft and also being, uh, for lack of better words, a good hang and being able to uh, communication. Right. You say it's a 50 50, 100 100, uh, or is it? I really think, you know, anyone can, can, you know, gain a kick drum, put a little EQ on it, and throw it into a mix. But, like, talking to somebody and, like, I, I think that, like, who you are is, like, 75% of the gig. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because nobody wants to have an engineer around that's, like, you can't trust. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. if, if, uh, if you're like, if you're you're boring, <laughs> or if you're like, you can't talk to somebody, sure. it's just it's hard to to live with them on a bus sure. for months at a time. Sure, I think there's so. a flip side of that too. If you're too much, <laughs> yeah, drawing yeah. too much attention yeah. to yourself too, because yeah. make no mistake, when you're we are working for right. them, if we're doing too much over here, it's right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at me, yeah. look at me, audience. This is where the show <laughs> is, dude. You know, and, and really, they they have friends. We're not paid to be. Right, They're yeah. friends, yeah. weird to actually yeah. do a job at the end of the day. So, I mean, with that being said, um, you know, you do have to know your shit, though. Sure, absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So you can be, like, the coolest guy on the road and, like, hang with the band, but if you if you can't uh, fix something when, when, when it goes down during a show, sure. if you crumble under pressure, yeah. It's it's your days are numbered. Fake it till you, you make know? it only work so far. Uh, yeah, it only until works they so figure far, out you're man. faking it, then it's like you know. But I'm a good hang. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. I thought we were best friends. Yeah, dude. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, if people want to uh, follow your trajectory and follow your career. Where can they? Are you on social media? Yeah, uh, Instagram at uh, Brady Miller Sound. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty okay. much all I got. Or any Lamb of God show near. Any Lamb of God show, I'm here. Stage left. You know, awesome. Hanging out. Man, thank you so much for yeah. your time. It's Thanks really for coming awesome. out, dude. Appreciate it. Awesome. That was yeah. weird. We kind of missed yeah. it. <laughs>